right, guys, in this video, I want to teach you about how to find the zeros of an exponential function graphically. I'm going to show you how to do this using Desmos as well as the TI-8384 graphing calculator. So here you just uh, clear off whatever you had in there. Y equals menu Ooh, had all kinds of crazy stuff in there. So we'll clear all that off. Now you could do this one algebraically, but I'm going to show you how to quickly do it graphically. So you have two to the X power minus five. I'm going to hit zoom six. And remember, a zero is where the graph crosses the X axis. And this graph makes sense because it's the graph of two to the X shifted down five units. So if we checked it, this horizontal asymptote here would be at negative five. Now the zero is right here and you can have the calculator do this. Never hit like over and say, okay, the zero is 2.34. Don't even hit trace, hit second, calculate, and then you want number two. And what you'll do is you'll pick a point to the left of the zero and a point to the right of the zero. And then um, put the cursor near the zero and the graphing calculator will tell you it's 2.3219. So remember the, the rounding rules for AP Calc, this would either round to 2.322 or you could truncate it at 2.321 either way. In other words, what we're doing is solving the equation two to the X minus five equals zero. And this is the value you would get for X. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this using Desmos. And the thing you have to keep in mind with Desmos is that a lot of times it's going to work easier and faster than the TI-83 or 84, but you can't take Desmos to the AP Calc exam. So if I have my function f of x equals 2 to the x minus 5, you could just... Uh, click the point and there you go 2.322 and notice that Desmos automatically rounds it to three decimal points and that's what we got if we round this to three decimal places however you just have to be careful if you're using Desmos in a situation where it rounds to three decimal points places and then you're going to then use that answer to round um, to, to find another answer that you're going to round to three decimal places, you may have a rounding error. So just be careful there with the use of Desmos and make sure you know how to do it on the graphing calculator again, because you won't be able to take this into Desmos into the AP Calc exam. All right, guys, hope that was helpful to you.